so uh, go to the login page and after login what we are going to find we are going to find this bias of acetylcholine on isolated rectus abdominis muscle of frog click next page click into the experiment now we will see that uh, instruction procedure choose the dose and press the inject button by clicking plus and minus or double will double or half of the doses so like that of what we are going to do we are going to first find the crc or the drc of acetylcholine once dose response curve is obtained click under the matching bioassay in assay box it here actually it is not the uh, matching bioassay it is written it is written as uh, start assay okay uh, then you will from that panel we can find that standard double standard half standard and unknown clear we can unknown and click the button uh, you can say that you can alter the doses and by altering you can calculate it now we'll see how we are going to perform it so what is the first first is you have to do the crc of acetylcholine or the drc of acetylcholine The same way same how we have performed the earlier experiment here also here you can say that in all the cases see in all the cases you need to remember that first we need to obtain the drc of acetylcholine that is the standard crc this is the standard crc we are getting from 25.6 and next is 51.2 so that is our CSC now start as a now from this we need to identify one dose of from the standard curve clear standard curve now what is the dose i will find that here what is the dose uh, you will find that 6.4 say again generally what we did to do we are telling as a 30 70 area what does it means first few responses which you should not be uh, considered and last responses you should not be considered that means in sigmoid shape graph the middle portion where the sensitivity is more those things you should consider it so what we are going to take this uh, uh, that is the 6.4 clear just i'll take the you can take 3.2 6.4 12.8 anyone but i'll take the 6.4 okay now what is the standard how much you have selected 6.4 what is the half dose of standard 3.2 what is the double of standard 12.8 and what is the unknown now unknown what you have to do We'll try it because again it is trial error. 0.1. First we'll inject this 0.1. Whether there is any response or not, we'll just check it. Uh, not that much provenance. So again we need to give that. Uh, for example, four. Whether we are getting the prominent little bit. Okay, fine. Now what you are going to do? What first you give the standard, inject the standard here, standard, next unknown, again standard, now say standard, unknown standard, now you can find that unknown response is response, percentage response or the height if you are telling that it is less than the standard, so you just increase the dose, here it is not like that you have to double the dose. But 
of course here you can find that response is small that's why i am doubling but it is not required that you have to double the dose unknown so it's again standard so unknown it will be in between the standard dose eight no so we'll give that one one ml is it fine just check it no still now 1.5 okay again standard still you can say that it is response is less so we'll take it for two unknown is two two still so we'll give it uh, 2.5 let's see no still it is lesser so we'll go to the three whether it is matched now for example i think we required more 3.2 if we are giving maybe it is uh, similar maybe now for example if it is comes the more then what you need to do again you need to reduce the concentration clear you need to reduce the concentration so what you can do half standard we will give the half standard if it is half you should decrease the dose also half so here also it is matched here also it is matched we will give the double now we'll, we should give the what is the we have got 3.2 3.2 so double of 3.2 is 6.4 so unknown is 6.4 ml see now it is matched so what is our result our result is uh, we are increasing the concentration until the two response is matching so here we got it clear here we got the you can say that so this is the end of our experiment that will uh, go for the calculation now we'll see that if it is we are calculating anything it is coming or not now if we are calculating here what we are getting enter the quantity of unknown to be matched with the standard dose so we are getting the 3.2 so because 3.2 we are quantity of unknown calculate so how much it is coming it is coming that 2 microgram per ml clear 2 microgram per ml so that is the concentration now how we have calculated i will explain it in our next video